Hello and welcome back to Minecraze Cosmos with me, Noxta. Today we're doing some more work on the Battalia. So I did a little bit of work off camera. I finished up the other two masts all the way to the top. And I built my flag atop the main mast. It's the double sized version, which is, a, well, it's twice as big in each direction as the basic one. So that means it's technically four times the area. And I made it all nice and billowy. So it looks fancy like it's blowing in the wind, which judging by the movement of the clouds, it's actually going in the right direction. And yeah, so built the masts, built the shrouds holding them up. And where's my self gone? Yes. So that's what I've done so far. And I actually built the gangplank across here. So now we can actually go there instead of that silly dirt bridge we had. And Today we're going to continue our pattern of working from the bottom up and work on the Orlop deck, which is this one here. Now in this deck, let's see, there's a lot of, on along the sides, there's some actual wiring from the decks above, or the deck above, so to start with, I'm just going to, instead of filling in the whole deck, I want to just come along the middle and do one, two, do, 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 five, six, oop, seven. That will be when it comes all the way across. So it's three on each side. Just cause there's some of it we're going to have to end up digging out anyway. It's not going to be visible. Some of it will, but I'm just going to fill in this whole area. All the way along, stem to stern. With this deck. Alright, so here we are at the forward end. And in the front here, well, we have some bits that are filled in. I was looking at the plan going, I'm looking at this shape that I have and... I've got this extra gap there, and on the plan, or the screenshot I took, I have uh, things protruding there, and I was like, what? And then I was like, oh, that's probably some structural stuff from the things above us. So that's what I'm going to go with. So yeah, we've got these two little windows, and I didn't touch those up, but what I've been doing with my windows lately is having the jungle wood beneath them. And on the outside, I'll probably go along and put a trapdoor there, just to give it a bit more of a frame. And wooden bars. Or fence posts. Alright. Here I just marked out a bit of stuff so I knew where to put it. And didn't have to stop and think every time. So we've got support pillars here. And on this side, there's just a wall. Like so. And run out of wood again. And here's, here on this side, I believe, the ceiling will continue all the way. So we'll just fill that in. Like so. Alright. Now, this is where we've got some stairs going up. So they have a block. This is what, well, yeah, there's a bunch of touches we did to the stairs. In this level, I'll get to that later, but I'll just do the actual stairs for now. Uh, we can't put a torch there. Just a temporary support block. And we need to make some headroom. Okay, so that does go above there. And I think just to minimalize the impact on this side of things, what we're going to do is get a slab and put it there. So you can go down there, etc. quite happily. Alright, and then down in these little sections we have the crew's mess. Not the mess that the crew's made, but is in the place where they sit and eat. Let's, yeah. Alright, 
So I ended up deciding to do the seats with jungle wood slabs, I think. Like that. And then they have a little table, which, what did I do that out of? Birch. And my inventory is overflowing. There's also a window. Here. Is that how it goes? Yeah, we've got that, we've got... The shape that I'm seeing on this screenshot is different from the shape I'm seeing in real life. Oh no, I'm looking at that. Hang on a sec. If that's there, then... Oh, am I doing this? No, I'm doing this wrong. I'm doing it wrong. It's supposed to be here. Right? And that means... Oh no, it's even here. Ooh. And then we can just fill that in like so. Again, we'll do our jungly woods. Uh, right. Yeah, so we can do it on this one because the window is high enough we can actually work with. So yes, these... Hello? Thank you. And then we've got lovely... What is happening today? Lagging all over the shop. Blingy, 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 blingy. And I don't know on the outside whether that bit will be trimmed off by stairs or something. There are some features like that. But for now, let's grab... Need more inventory room. Well, let's put a chest down here, because there's going to be a chest down there. And one here. And put some stuff we don't need in it. Like that. Some of the extra leaves. And we don't have to remember it's in that one, because there's going to be like a million chests in here. And that will mean, yeah, it'll be like... I have no idea where to put things. So, stairs slabs. Here's how we do a table. Oh, I put that workbench in just the right spot. To look amazing. Now, I still need to figure out what to do about lights in here. What did I have in here? I just had one up torch on the wall. Like so. And that looks alright. So yeah, this is the area where the crew sits to eat. general people. The officers have their own fancier one elsewhere. But yeah. And yeah, obviously this will be mirrored on the other side. Now along here, I think this this is one of those bits that I recently adjusted. So yeah, like I did with the holes, I went back over the original prototype and went, well, why don't we have things like this, and like this, and like that? And made it more fancier. I took a screenshot of this. So that I could see. Oh, is that all I've got to go on? Alright. So, here. Now, down in the hold, as we said, we had all our chests for our supplies and things. That's not right. That's wrong. The opposite of right. Up here on the all lock deck, again, there's still also a whole bunch of chests in here. This is more like where you'd have store. Well, no. The hold is like where you'd have stores, like your provisions, spare food and water. And up here is where you'd have more things along the lines of... Like the equipment, rigging, spare bits of ropes and cable and things like that. have fence posts because they make everything look fancier. And then, grab some more of these. This goes right out to there. Now is this a, just a low ceiling? It is. So the ceiling in here, 
That's right. I remember now. Goes like that. And if I'm not mistaken, that will connect. Yeah, I'll figure it out. And that allows us to have this little tubey bit with another little. That's my tree shredder. Window! And this bit up here we're going to actually tidy up from the outside. So let's let's do that now. Use my workbench around. I had a workbench. What did I do with the workbench? I left it lying on the floor. That's not a good thing to do with one's workbench. All right. So yeah, the outside is going to look fancy. So we need some of these. Just to make us some supports to work with. I might bring it out to here. And yeah, this is level with this, so actually all of this row is going to be trimmed back. There will be blocks in there, don't worry. And then... Oh wait, no, it doesn't get trimmed back. I'm wrong. It goes down this extra bit. You've gone down, son. I think it goes something like that. And then, you yeah, know, we have our window. So again, the jungle wood, the we can't reach. Let's get some trap doors on us. Let's get rid of some things. We'll put those in there for now. It's a bit of a mess, apparently. Now I'm going to need a whole bunch of those, so... Let's just make a couple here with what we've got. So we'll have that. Window will be like that. And then there'll be another section like this. And then another window. There. That sounded more harder than it should have. Oh yeah, and the trapdoors. And on the inside, that's going to be full of sections the same as this, pretty much. All the way along both sides, so I think I'll, I'll go and do that by myself, so I don't bore you with the tedious details. And then I'll see you later. So apparently I was actually building these too far forwards, they're actually one block further back. So it's only two, making these things a little bit shorter and allowing you to still get past. But yeah, so I've done all that. So now we need to figure out what we want to put in this middle space because it's a little bit open and wasted space, really. So that's where these things come in. So we've got the stairs, and in this case, this is what we're using, and I just General principle, to make things look more fancy, spam fences in there. But yeah, I've made, yeah, in like so, and also makes the underside of the stairs look like things. You've got space for chests, I guess these would be like racks of shelves type things or something. So that's one factor. The other thing we need to consider is also the lighting. Now, these torches along here light pretty much everything except the very middle block when it's in line with these. So I added these details onto where I just had some other stuff and where it fit nicely and there are still a few gaps where there were some of these blocks that were dark enough that things could spawn and ideally I mean I could either put in a different light source, put something else there or figure out a way to arrange things slightly differently. So that's what I'm going to try and do. So, first I'm going to figure out where I did have them. So, at the aft. Where's aft? Let's start aft. 
So we have the mast. That's right, this one was built onto the mast. So that was like that. And we'll just do it like that for now. Then the next one. One of the thing that is annoying is here. This is where on the inside we've got stairs and things. And they're arranged so that it looks smooth and the blocks match up. But because they're transparent blocks you get this stupid water thing. Which looks really bad when you see it from under the water. So I don't know if I'd want to actually go over that and remove it. Just fill it in. Probably or whether just to get over it and say don't look at it from underwater. I mean there are other bits like over here and anchor cable where we had that but here it just looks terrible. So I don't know what, not sure if I'll end up fixing that or not. Alright I got it figured out pretty nicely. So here there's these stairs back here which we saw. Then here's a sort of a double thing where you got these two guys back to back. Originally I planned to have them so that one set was actually a trap chest and they were actually right next to each other instead of having this fence in between. But this expands a little bit and allows it to line up with our dark zones on both ends. So that's what I did there. Here I just had stairs again. Here there was going to be another staircase. But Actually no, that was that one. Here there's this thing. Here there was going to be another staircase, but I turned it into one of these instead. Since there's stairs right here, they ended up fairly close. And I could... The stairs don't quite fit between the gap. Or, they don't cover it. They can only cover one end. So I was thinking, have a, just have a torch here, and then have it this way. But then these stairs end up very, very close to each other, and it's a little bit silly and redundant. So that's what I did. And yeah, stairs here. This actually looks quite interesting from up here. Obviously, this is going to be filled with stuff and you're not going to see it, but quite an interesting shape. Alright, so the thing that we're working on now is the stern end of everything. Because this just ends off, and we need to have some stuff covering some of that. So. Here's what we're going to do. First of all, there are actually some logs in the floor above, which look like that. And this is going to be actually covered up by that. And there's another one here, which isn't. I don't know, we might figure out some way of doing that. But for now, we're just going to roll with it. For this gap, we just did this, and the wall, I guess, was filled in. Now some windows go, got a low one here, which fits with the shape of the ship, and then there's a big one here. So, and as we did before, before, squeaky voice, <laughs> blanks there, Fill, I'll put the trap doors on the outside, actually I can probably do that now, what do we need, two sets, so we need to make two batches, see if I can reach Bloop, bloop. Yep. Alright, so that works. Uh, now that's a thing. I think these here are going to be slabs. Like so. I didn't pay much attention to it because this is actually details for the next floor or the next deck I should say 
But all the same, I want to have it all ready for us. I think because there was a thing that had. Just trying to remember because I don't didn't bother to take a reference of it this time. But I think that's just full like that of those. All right. Now up here, where these pillars are, they do go all the way up to the deck above. And I'm just going to check. Yeah. Whoops. We'll finish off this deck here, obviously. We don't need that extra space. And I did have some just random chests sitting there. And I think I filled in that gap. I'm not sure if I'll still do it like... Oh no, that gap is non-existent because there's a wall here. That's what it is. Yeah. And I had another wooden log pillar here. Because... I'm just going to see whether I still want that or not. Yeah, I guess I might. Planks above, these are going to be doorways into some cabins. Now these cabins are for... Some of the officers, there's sort of a few different ranks. There's the standard crew guys, which don't really get cabins, they just have random hammocks in some place. Then these are the fancy, the, no, the unfancier cabins. And there's some other fancier ones for more important people. So, yeah, this is where I had that gap before, in the floor below which I think I am going to fill in because I did have plans of using part of it making the floor drop then I decided it looked nicer if we didn't so we're just going to fill that in so we don't have that dead space annoying us that we know about and has no effect on us or whatever then let's just take that yeah so I raised that there is a phone ringing out there uh, da -da 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 a wall down the middle because these are two cabins not just one How does this end up working? Because I thought, I guess this space is filled. Oh, again, this is another place where there is some wiring and things above. That will explain why. Just why. But yeah, the gaps and things will be explained away when we do the next deck. Well, some of them will. Some of them are just because it looks stupid to not have them. So that's like that. That block is like... Oh, I made this a stair. Hello, outside world. Speaking of the outside world, there's a window here. And we actually have a workbench in here. So the guys have a little desky thing which is convenient because we want to make things with it. So we've got our trapdoor for the outside. Wait. I oh, know, it is a full. For some reason I thought it was just a little window. But no, it is too tall. Like so. And let's make a bed. It goes here. And the guy gets himself a double chest to store whatever belongings here. I don't know why I bothered with the making the wood when I already had some. But yeah, double chest to store belongings. And the ultimate luxury, a door. I've got to make sure we hinge the door on the right side. I think, yeah. Although I don't know if I have some of these doors I want to reverse just in case zombies do spawn and end up knocking the place down. And yeah, this cabin's going to be a mirror image. So, nice little cabin. Uh, lighting. Did we have a place for torches in here? I'm not seeing one. Therefore, we're going to put one on this pillar. 
and on the outside, were they, th no, they weren't there, were they? Yes, they were, never mind, I'm silly. We just had one in the middle. And there's also... Making some more of these fences. I go through billions of these. The recipe for fences is really overpriced, in my opinion. It's something that's been that way for a long time and really needs to be revised. Because you end up cutting down large amounts of forestry just to build some safety railings or fence around your yard. Like you have to cut down an entire forest just to have a backyard. Not sure how far these came out, but yeah, these are just probably that far because any further they'd stop you from walking down the stairs nicely. And they just stop you from falling down and breaking an ankle. What do you know? I had just the right amount. On this side, we don't have all that. So I don't know. Like, we can't really cover it because it goes all the way to there. So I don't know if we've i have to check what is going above on the other side, because I, mean, I know what's going above, but where it fits, and whether we could just mimic that, that logs there to make it look like it's meant to be, even maybe a beam going all the way across, some way of making it look less ugly. Anyway, I'll, you, you, that's pretty much this area, so I'll cut ahead. Alright, I think it's pretty much done. So I added some more structural detail around here, i.e. spanned fence post around. Still not certain about that. I'll check, I'll figure that out when I do the next deck, whether I can do the same on that side, maybe even continue it across. But yeah, so I've got that. Figure out the lighting. I've got workbenches here now, and chests for more storage and things. Then up at the forward end, I change these tables, I put these stairs the other way around so it looks a bit more interesting because now the torch is like a little lantern on top of the table and that actually lights up a fair good bit of this area so it's actually very difficult to get these two squares the way I was doing it before but yeah I think this is a pretty good solution and yeah add more little interesting details around here to make that look interesting how many work times can I say the word interesting in one sentence so this is the all up deck. Nice view of the, well, not a nice view because there's bars in your face and it's just ocean. But you can see a little bit, which is what matters. Uh, oh yes, these stairs here I also pushed that way a little bit just to, because this gap was a little bit big otherwise and this one was a bit tight figure this balance it better. And hopefully that doesn't come back to bite me, because when I originally put these in, I was taking consideration of how all the other decks fit in, so hopefully that won't be too much of a problem, I think. Yeah, not, not entirely certain, but we'll find out. Alright, so let's take a look from an external vantage point, so we can see how it generally looks. So... Over here you can see there's a few windows which look a bit weird because they're all low down at the moment. And that's just, it just, you seem, you, it feels like there ought to be more higher up, and there will be. So that's just obviously a temporary thing at the moment. Them not being there, it looks a bit like really weirdly balanced. Alright, let's see if we can go on top of the lighthouse. We cannot. Just a little bit too tall, this thing, I think. For the purpose of Ender Pearls, for the purpose of looking awesome, it's perfect. So now we can get a view from up here. This is starting to look impressive. You can see the deck from the middle in there is now obviously a bit higher. Oh, it's going to be right across the top when it's done, but, you know, it's starting to look more like stuff is in there. Funny that, because stuff is in there. Let's see if we can get a view where we can see the stem. The full bowels. 
how many different words are there for their there for a front of the ship. And obviously they all have slightly different meanings. And it's like, which word do I use for this? But yeah. I, I am very pleased at how this is coming along. You can see those little windows there, windows all there. Yeah, from the outside, the only difference you can see from here is all the windows, but that's a pretty significant difference because there's a lot of windows. And yeah, a lot of the other bits still look a little bit bland, but again, according to the plans, that will all change. I do quite like the way... I was going to say I didn't really mention it before, but the jungle wood gives a nice... Why am I going this way? Like, particularly for all these side bits, gives a nice darker look. Makes it look darker to the woods and stuff and the structure. And particularly, there's a similar feature on this deck. Or there will be. And that looks quite good. And it actually extends to the outside, so there's sort of this stripe, which I've done up with fancy stuff. But yeah, it makes it quite nice because it's the darker tone. Good for contrast and stuff. But again, the problem with that is if we switch to the default texture pack, it looks pink instead. Which just looks weird and bizarre <laughs> but again I'm optimizing for my texture pack if I was optimizing it for the default texture pack I would probably use the spruce wood for that instead they pretty much probably reverse their roles because my spruce is more orangey so a more reddy color and my jungle wood is the more darker one although it's only slightly darker compared to the defaults sprucey significantly darker well, yeah, it's a, it's a bit more darker, a bit more darker. Anyway, the fact is, we're building it for me, who uses my texture pack, and it still looks like it's made out of wood and stuff on any other texture pack, so it doesn't matter too much if it doesn't look ideal. That's the kind of thing of using a texture pack. But it is nice to, you know, check and see what it will look like to other people. Or other people who use the default texture pack. Obviously, if someone uses a different one altogether, they're going to have it looking different anyway. Depending on how they colour their planks. But yes. I think I shall call this an episode. Not much other interesting stuff, just building. But hey. That's what we want to get done, and that's what I have just gotten done. So thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more. This next deck is going to be a fun one. I just was this stupid trying to pull facial expressions and going, yeah, winky winky, eyebrows. You can't see any of that. So, <laughs> yeah. But anyway, stay tuned again. Next episode, I don't know what it will be, but it's hard to say. Because I sometimes alternate between doing this and doing other things. So I might, if I can have some other thing to end up doing next episode, I'll be doing that. Otherwise, next episode will be the gun deck. So stay tuned. Well, don't stay tuned because that's silly. Don't sit watching my channel. Watch, watch something else in the meantime. Or go do something productive. Build something. I don't know. Live a happy life. Something. Enjoy yourself. But... See you again next time for more constructions of the Battalia, or whatever. For now, I am going to parkour across these midget houses. See how long I can last. Uh, I think I've arrived at a dead end. But yeah, yeah, I fell. Alright, see you later. Bye. Ta-ta. Toodaloo. I need a fancy way of saying goodbye. R well, I guess <laughs> like I just did then. I just said a million different fancy ways, but I need maybe a more stand one. Or maybe 
I could just think of a thing that I could just say. I don't know whether I want to have some sort of catchphrase something, or whether I just, I like being more spontaneous and just saying, see ya. But, it's, it's, it's interesting, because I mean, some people have their little catch, catchphrase that they say always, some people do it, vary it up, and it's hard to, hard to know, like, hard to know what to do, because there's, I mean, you can do a million different things, you could just, yeah. Like, I haven't really developed anything that I do all the time, except, you know, think production, bring back to the drawer, break the next time, blah, 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 which I generally do, but, you know, again, variation. It's hard to say, you know, is there a fancy way, is there some fancy, farewell, my brethren, until we meet again. Do I want to have something like that, or do I like being spontaneous and different? I don't know, all these questions, and there's just, like, so many ideas. And I'm just wandering around, making no progress at all. But, you know, it's just a thing to think about. Like, do I end with something? Do I just end it suddenly for no apparent reason? So by now, what do I say? How do I? How do? How does? How does one say goodbye? And in this case, it's like not like sometimes some people don't get the hint; they just don't leave. In this case, obviously, I've joked about that in the past, but in reality, it's me that has to wait to leave, and I'm getting the hint. I'm just like, hey, 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 hey. I'm just want to make. <sighs>